Greetings and salutations all. In this video, we're gonna take a look at Positron, an IDE for Data Science's ability to actually use a code assist agent uh, like GitHub Copilot. First and foremost, I'm gonna say that this is going to be tethered to R only. Uh, Positron can work with both R and Python, but um, I don't think, or I don't know of an extension um, that's officially uh, like a GitHub Copilot uh, version for Positron. Uh, so if we go over to this extensions tab, right, and we type in like Copilot, you'll notice that on um, the extensions list that we have here, we don't see a GitHub Copilot extension available. There's a lot of other generic ones that, you know, we can very quickly go into, but for all intents and purposes, you know, if your organization requires you to use GitHub Copilot, you won't be able to access it that way. So uh, I'm gonna jump over from the default, which is going into Python, into an R session. Inside of the R session, I'm going to install, in this case, the remotes package. And with the remotes package installed, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to install from GitHub the um, chatter package. So that's going to be under um, posits MLverse uh, organization. And then I'm going to type here um, chatter and press enter. So this is going to go ahead, download uh, the chatter package and install it just like you normally would. And the next part that I'm going to do is I'm going to say chatter, chatter underscore app, and then I'm gonna press enter and I'll have the option of using either GitHub Copilot chat or chat completions with GPT 4.0. So I'm gonna opt for the GitHub Copilot chat. And what's going to happen here is this is going to open up a shiny application where I can actually have a conversation um, with GitHub Copilot. So for instance, in this case, let's just go ahead and say, write an R function called blast off that counts down from 10 to one and prints blast off, right? So if I go ahead and then press submit, do, 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 do. we now have on the right hand side, basically the um, generated function, which in this case is going from 10 to one and then printing blast off. So we're gonna go ahead and press this little copy bar or we can highlight and do command C what we want. Uh, next, what we're gonna do is go to this new uh, menu and we're going to say new R script and then we're gonna just paste that chat in. Now, one of the downsides to the fact that this um, is a Shiny app is it basically is overriding the main console over here. So we're going to have to stop the Shiny application by pressing this big red um, uh, square, which is going to make this application lose all of our history. And then what we get is we get the ability now to run this as a script file. So here I just sent it to the console by highlighting it and then pressing command uh, enter. And now I'm just going to very quickly say blast underscore off and lo and behold, I now have Positron uh, using something that was generated by a, um, uh, you know, an LLM model. And you can see it nicely printed out. So that's really the only way that I know currently to use an LLM, um, like GitHub Copilot inside of Positron. Um, if you have other suggestions, feel free to let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye now.